Hey guys, welcome to Andy's Fantails for another update video on how my Fantail doves are getting on. Basically, for two uh, babies, or well, in the back, I has I have popped in for outdoor aviary. As you can see, that's one of them there. I think it's female, and the other baby is there. I think for both females. Uh, I've got some really good news uh, for you guys, so I'll tell you that later on in the, in the video. Um, like I said in my earlier video, uh, there's going to be some, hopefully, some new changes. I'm going to swap the pairs around. I'm going to repair some birds to some new pairing because. Uh, I've got a couple of young males what I want to breed from, so basically I'm trying to pair them up with my old f uh, females so they can uh, start uh, the new family. But at the moment, uh, I've got a new pair, uh, what I'm happy about. Uh, two of them. Back to new pair, him. He's paired up to my curved tail female dove. So, uh, yeah. We was in that box last week, but I've transferred them back in here because she's got a box of her own. Because he, she was paired up with with him. So I've uh, basically gave I gave him a rest. I'm giving him a rest from breeding. Hopefully, uh, it's a temp temporary uh, pairing. What I'm doing uh, because I just want a couple, uh, pull out three for young off for new pairs, and then I'll repair them to the old partners, it's just at the moment I just want to pair them up uh, temporarily and then uh, when they've had the young girl repair them to the old partners so yeah So basically, oh, uh, yeah, uh, got some sad news for young f feral uh, pits and what has the right in its feathers sadly died. Um, there was some sort of defect 
Um, it just wasn't eating and it was just getting more and more skinnier and it was like it it just sadly passed away so in a way I'm glad because I didn't want it to be whatever it had I didn't want it passing on to my birds so so basically we've got a lot of uh, new nests So, we've got a new nest here, a season one egg, but uh, I think it's still be able to, uh, lay another in the next day or two. Basically, uh, we've got a new nest here. Um, so basically, see, is, see what's in the uh, rabbit hutch last week with that uh, white and brown pissing. So I transferred, I transferred them in here and now they've laid and uh, what I've done with the eggs, I've swapped the eggs around because um, surprisingly her daughter, her, has laid two eggs on the same day. Uh, they both laid on the same day, uh, so that's good for me uh, because I've swapped the eggs about. So I put her eggs under her and her eggs under her. The reason why is because I know that she's a good breeder, but what's She's paired up with a with that white and brown uh, male pitson what I haven't bred from before, so I I'm not sure what um, what he's like about raising any young. So what I've done is put them under this pair, so we've got a best chance of uh, uh, being r r being um, raised really well. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so basically, that's it, guys. Um, we've came to the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe on my channel. Give my videos a big thumbs up uh, if, if you like the content. Uh, what else? Yeah, I think that's it, guys. Um, if you've got any questions about your birds or my birds, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll try my very best to answer them. Uh, and yeah, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.